Hey gaming fans, so today's another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile, and this one is based on Grand Maju de Iza, I think. Iza or Iza? Um, yeah, so I was trying to come up with a different way to kind of play this deck and uh, what other cards might work, but I, I ended up uh, deciding on Kaijus um, because there's a few, well, I'll kind of explain why. Uh, so let's start the deck. And obviously we have the three Grand Maju de Iza or Iza. Uh, we'll just call him Grand Maju. So uh, pretty much what he does is his attack and defense is uh, becomes the number of your cards uh, that are removed from play times 400 points. Um, yeah, so this card's been around for a long time, and it's always interesting trying to come up with different strategies of removing your cards. And so I tried to find a bunch of different ways of doing that in this deck. So one of the ways I've, I've uh, came up with was using the Cyber Volleys. Um, they are pretty good because you can banish... Uh, this card and another card and then draw two cards like two two monsters I should say uh, and then you get to draw two cards which is really what you want to do in this deck you want to draw and you want to banish so I thought these would work pretty well in the deck then uh, another card that also kind of banishes itself but also could serve as fodder for your cyber volley is battle fader because you know um, you know you could stop your opponent's attack and then next turn you could summon your cyber volley and then banish the two and draw two cards. Otherwise, uh, you can just keep yourself alive. And um, Battle Fader himself, if he leaves the field, he gets banished. So just another way to banish cards. And then probably one of the better monsters in the deck that banishes is the three Necroface. Um, I always just find this card fun. Uh, it's it's a dark monster, so you know it works with Lure of Darkness. Um, there's plenty of ways of banishing. You could banish it with Cyber Volley, and uh, it's fun to have this card back at three. Because now, when you banish one, there's a potential you could banish a second one, and even banish a third one. So that would be like 15 cards off of both players' decks. Which not only like could cause problems for your opponent, but also just really build up your Grand Maju. Then for the Kaijus, I chose uh, three of the Kamaguas, the Stingy String Kaiju. Um, mainly because it's a level 7. Um, and it's an insect, it's 2400. It's a typical kaiju type monster. You tribute your opponent's monster to special summon it to your opponent's side of the field. And then I put in the other level 7, which is Raiden, the uh, multi dimensional kaiju. Uh, he's got the 2800 attack, and he's a dark, so also works with Allure of Darkness. And then for the final kaiju, I threw in one of the uh, Do Dogorian. Dogorin, Dogorin, the Mad Flame Kaiju, only because he's a 3,000 beat stick. Unfortunately, he's a level 8, so it's not going to work with um, uh, the draw card in this deck. But anyways, yeah, that's that's it for the monster lineup. I try to keep it pretty simple. Uh, you got your Kaijus, you got your Necrofaces for banishing faders. You know, just, just a nice uh, line of monsters that just all help with banishing or trying to be banished. So then the uh, the spells for this deck, uh, mostly draw spells. So we got uh, one Upstart Goblin, just to help get through the deck faster. Again, one Day of Peace, another, you know, draw one card. And it will protect you while you build up your resources. Um, two Pot of Dualities, uh, just to help, again, dig into the deck. Yeah, you can only play one Pot of Duality a turn, so I just stuck with two. Uh, just so you don't draw into them. And um, three, Allure of Darkness, uh, because you do play your Necrofaces. Um, you actually do have quite a few. You got your uh, your Kaijus, which are dark. You got your Necrofaces and your Battle Faders. So you do have quite a few targets to actually use. And the good thing is it banishes. So you get to draw cards and it banishes. And then because of the Kaijus being uh, level 7, uh, another card that's draw cards and banishes is um, Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars. You banish one level seven monster from your hand or faced up on your side of the field to draw two cards. And then you can only activate once per turn. So again, I only put two in here because you don't want to draw too, too many of these cards. But it's good just to get rid of a Kaiju, even if at, the, uh, at your end phase, if you've attacked with the Kaiju, uh, not your end phase, but your main phase too, if you've attacked with the Kaiju and you could just banish it to draw two cards just to get into the deck. And of course, what makes the deck work is three 
pot of desires. Um, you know, it, it, I'm glad this actually came out in a, in a recent structure deck because I didn't have any of these cards. But uh, yeah, so this is pretty much what makes the deck work. Uh, you pull off one, you get you banish the top ten cards of your deck face down, and then you draw two cards. Unfortunately, because of the face down, it's not going to work with your uh, necro faces if it does banish them. And there's always a potential you can banish all your Grand Machus, but, I mean, that's the risk you're always going to take with this type of deck. I mean, it's not really, you know, this isn't, like, the, the real competitive version of the of the deck. I understand that. Uh, I'm not playing, like, mil, uh, Eaters of Millions, which, if, if I get some, I'll probably think about it. But, anyways, um, and, of course, I don't have Pot of Extravagance. Uh, the card's a little bit too pricey for me. Uh, so then we got uh, two Summoning Curses, which I thought would just be a fun addition to the deck. Uh, so, when a monster is special summoned, the controller of that car uh, monster chooses one card in their hand and removes it from play. And then during each of your end phase, you pay 500 life points or destroy this card. I mean, that part is just whatever. It's just a maintenance cost. But um, the fun thing about this card is it's when a monster is special summoned to the controller, the controller of that monster uh, has to discard a card. So, when you summon a kaiju to your opponent's side of the field, they're going to have to banish a card from their hand. And if you special summon a monster, you have to banish a card, but that's fine. You might have your necro face in your hand when you go to do that, and then you banish that, and then you banish five more cards. So it really is just kind of fun, and, and just just to have that on the field, during, and then during your opponent's turn, they have to think twice about summoning too many times, because they're going to lose almost all their hand if they try that. And of course we have Dimensional Fisher. Um, it's, it's at one, so why not play one? Any monster sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Uh, Gold Sarcophagus, you do need this because you want to banish your Necroface right off the bat, and then hopefully you'll banish some more Necrofaces. Um, of course you could just banish anything else you want just to get one card banished. And then because we're playing the Kaiju package, we got the two kai Interrupted Kaiju Slumbers. Uh, you destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, then special summon an attack position. Two kaiju monsters with different names from your deck, one on each side. They, they cannot change their battle position, and they must attack, if able, during your main phase, except during the turn this card is sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard to add one kaiju monster from your deck to your hand. So again, you know, it, it banishes itself, and it, um, you know, blows up all the monsters, and it summons kaiju. So, you know, good card. Really good card in almost every kaiju deck. Um, I ended up putting in two do double summons because there's a lot of times where I was drawing a lot of cards and then I couldn't, uh, you know, I I'd normal summon my Cyber Valley, for instance, and then I'd want to normal summon Necroface or even just to normal summon a Grand Maju. So it's really, you know, you do use your normal summon quite a bit in this deck, so might not have two normal summons. And then the final card is a single Macrocosmos. Uh, again, it's, it's at one, so... I mean, if this card was at more than one, this would be a lot better, but it's not. And uh, it's just a good card if you set this on turn one, and then say you have Necroface on the field, or on your hand, you could set your Necroface, you activate Macrocosmos on your opponent's turn, they attack it, it gets banished, and then there goes five cards. So that was my kind of reasoning for that. But yeah, that, that's the deck I came up with for just kind of like a, I guess you could kind of say this is like a budget version of a Grand Maju deck. I don't have any of those secret rares or the, you know, all the expensive cards, but I mean, it's just a fun deck, just something to play around with. And, you know, now that Potted Desires, it's a lot easier to get your hands on. Most of these cards are pretty uh, cheap to get your hands on. Anyways, hope you liked the deck. Let me know what you think of the deck profile. Sure, you can add in all those expensive cards, but I thought this would just be fun. Anyways, hope you liked the deck. Hope you subscribe. Talk to you later.